Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's part four of my series on taking attendance. So go watch parts one through three and then come on back. All right, our database is starting to get there. Now we got our report pretty much set up. So let's go in here and print preview it. And this is what we're working with. All right, looks good. Let's put some totals down here. We're going to put those in text boxes. So I'm going to go back into design view. All right, right in this band here, we're going to put them in the customer ID footer. So I'm going to go up to report design. I'm going to grab a text box. I'm going to drop it down here. And this is going to be the total count. All right, so change this to say total count. Let's make this guy black so we can actually see it. Let's make this guy transparent so we don't see this white background in here. So right over here, go to transparent. There we go. And let's bring this a little bit closer. And this doesn't have to be quite so big. All right, so there's our total count. Double click on this. Actually, this has a border around it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the problem with bringing stuff in right from the, the toolboxes. It puts borders around stuff. All right, transparent. Okay. Open up this guy. This is going to be my total count. And yes, the name is important. And the control source, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Shift F2. The control source is going to be equals. We're going to use the count function. And what are we counting? Well, everything. We're going to count the number of records that appear in the section above that, which in this case is the detail section. And that's how you represent it. Count of star inside of double quotes. Okay, let's save it, see if it looks good. Print preview, there we go, there's our three, and we got a box to get rid of again, all right. So everybody should have a three, that's fine, that's normal, all right. Back to design view, let's get rid of that box. Format, shape outline, transparent, okay. Now, let's copy and paste this guy, copy, paste. See, that's, it used to be able to go copy and then paste and it puts it right below it sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't sometimes you gotta go copy click paste and even then it doesn't work oh access team you got a bug here i should be able to go copy and paste so let's work on that there it goes okay see i just clicked and and highlighted just the text box and copied click paste this behavior is it's it's not you if you're not crazy it drives me nuts too sometimes this, this copy paste behavior is, is it's all over the place. It's wild. All right now for this one, this is going to be our present count. All right. You can call it present count or just present. That's fine. Whatever you want. And slide that up like that. Actually, let's right align these guys. Format, right align. There we go. It looks better. All right. Now for present count, we can't just count this because it'll give you three every time. There's always going to be three of these, but the value is going to be either true or false. Now, if you know the way that data is stored internally, it helps you understand how to count the checkboxes. So internally, a yes or no field, no, false is zero. And true, you'd think it's one, but it's negative one. Why they do it that way, it's a long story. I'm not going to go into it now. Some other database systems use one as true, like SQL Server uses one. That always throws me, because I'm used to access being negative one. So now that we know that it's negative one for a true, what we can do is add them up using the sum function. So we're gonna count up the number of presents there are using sum, we're gonna add them all up and then multiply that result by negative one to flip it. Okay, so this is going to be and then we're going to call this guy. The name of this one's going to be present count because we already have a field called present, right? So the control source is going to be equals the sum of present times negative one. All right, add up all the values of all the present fields and then give me the negative of that. Save it, right click, print preview, and look at that. Two, three, this guy should be one. Yep, yep. Okay, looking good so far. Let's bold these. Actually, no, let's bold the numbers. Where's bold? Uh, format, bold. 
All right, we got one more to do. And in fact, I'm going to move this over here like that. Let's put them side by side. It takes up less space, right? Okay, now absences are next. Absences are easy. We just subtract that from that, right? So let's copy, paste. See, you get... Uh, uh. Click on the text box, copy, paste. I don't like that. <laughs> it didn't used to work like that, Access Team. All right. Absent. is going to be absent count. I'll zoom in again. This is going to be equals total count minus present count. That's why I said those names are important. I used to not, back in the day, I used to not bother naming my boxes unless I was going to refer to them somewhere else because you don't want to refer to something as text for. That's completely useless, right? But now I'm in the habit, I name everything. I don't always name labels because labels will tell you what they're attached to, but text boxes I do. All right, save it, right click, print preview, and there you go. Uh, let's bring them a little closer to the number though. Okay, design view. This guy, this guy, this guy, we're going to format left. This guy, this guy, this guy, we're going to format right. They already are. Okay, let's see if it looks better now. There we go. And you can rearrange them if you want. Put total count on the end. I don't know. I think absent to me is the most important value. Okay. Want to get the whole thing for the whole class? Well, we got another footer down here. Now, you can't put this in the page footer. There's a lot of reasons why you can't do calculations in the page footer. There are some exceptions, and I got some different videos on that. But for today, we're not going to bother with the page footer. We are going to use the report footer. This will give you the complete total report of everything. Very similar. We can use these boxes. In fact, we just got to rename things slightly. So copy all of this. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. Copy, click, paste. Okay, good. It let us get away with it. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Who knows? Okay. So now this guy, the formula is going to be the same. We're still counting everybody above it. It just happens to be this is the report footer, so the, the stuff above it is the entire report. But we got to rename it so we can calculate stuff properly. This is going to be the report total count. This one is going to be the present or report present count. And this one is going to be subtracting those two. So we'll call this one report absent count, and it's going to be equals the report to report total count see one of the benefits of not using the zoom box is you can see it in the, the little intellisense it drops down there you lose that with the zoom box hey access team that'd be a great feature for you to add put intellisense in the zoom box i use it all the time for teaching minus report uh present count there it is all right save it Close it. This time we are going to close it. Let's open it back up again. And there's our totals for everybody. Whoops. Click. There's our totals for everybody. Wish you could make these borders thicker. I have a hard time grabbing that. Looks good. Total of 18. You could put percentages over here. You know, what percentage of classes they made. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Now, how do we open up this report from here? Well, we just make another button, design view. And then we're going to grab a button, click it there. We're going to report operations, preview report. I always like to open up my reports in preview mode because then if I like them, I can print them. You can make a button that'll directly print it if you're confident. <laughs> if it's the same report you generate every day and you don't wanna to have to look at it and then hit print, if you don't mind wasting paper, you can make a button. I prefer just doing previews. I hardly ever print stuff. I rarely ever print stuff. What report do you want? That's our attendance R. I'm going to put in here attendance report. Next, give it a meaningful name. Attendance R button. And then finish. And there's your button. And there you go. Save it. Close it open it. I'm going to shrink up that ribbon again and click the button. There it is. Now, 
there is a little minor issue. I just noticed it. If you look, these are not sorted. So we can add a sorting level in our report. All right, let's go back into design view. Now, right now we are grouping on customer ID, but we're not sorting on anything really. If you take a look at it, right? We're gonna print preview, right? Richard Ross, James Kirk. Whatever. These are actually coming in sorted by, I believe, customer ID. All right, so we gotta sort by that, then sort by the date inside, because notice these dates are all scrambled too. All right, so we'll talk about sorting all of this, and I got a couple more tricks for you. And we'll talk about that in tomorrow's class. You know the drill. Tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel. Members, eh, you can watch it tonight. I'm still working on it. But that is going to do it for your tech help video for today. That's part four. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part five. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.